a business trip to the Adirondacks allowed me to spend two nights on the shores of Blue Mountain Lake so I could test Dwarf II and see the difference between a Bortle II sky and that of a Bortle IV sky. Uh, this is the view during the daytime of what Dwarf was looking at, open sky or as far as you can see. To put things into perspective, uh, this is the area where I spent the night up in the Adirondack Park and looking at the brightness of the sky, it was definitely a Bortle Class 2. Going back to work that I had done with Dwarf earlier, I imaged M51, and there it is. And this is a single frame of the hundreds of frames that I took in at the Rooster and Observatory in Bortle 4. And uh, you can see what things looked like under a Bortle 4 sky. And uh, this is the single frame that I took under Bortle 2 sky. You can already see the M51. Bortle 4, Bortle 2. Bortle 4, Bortle 2. <laughs> you can see the hot pixels are exactly there and they did not move. I did not worry much about that. As the night progressed and I stacked enough frames to allow for a real comparison, the single frame comparison showed clearly that there are a lot more stars that appeared in the Bortle 2 sky than in the Bortle 4 sky. The fully stacked image, uh, this is what I got under a Bortle 4, Bortle 4 sky. There is M51. Uh, obviously, this is the field rotation from a dwarf operating in alt as mode. And then as we went to uh, the Bortle 2 sky, this is what M51 looked like. Lots more stars in the sky. Bortel 4, Bortel 2. 4, 2. Needless to say, the difference is stunning, at least at best. Uh, here they are, side by side. The Bortel 4, M51, and the Bortle 2 M51. Uh, it is interesting to note that uh, satellite trails appeared more so in the Bortle 2 sky than they did in the Bortle 4 sky. Uh, I'm assuming that Dwarf attempted to correct whatever possible and delete those trails. Uh, none appear under the Bortle 4 sky but they certainly appeared under the Bortle 2 sky. I was looking forward for the second night to image Mercurian's chain. Uh, this is again a reminder of uh, the one-on-one -on -one comparison. You can see the stars. Lots more stars appeared here than they did under uh, Bortle 4. The second night, I was planning to image Mercurian's chain and compare it to the same uh, setup, to the same imaging that they did under Bortle 4. But unfortunately, uh, the smokes coming from Canada, primarily from the Alberta fires, uh, denied me that opportunity. Uh, this is where I was, right in the mountains. That is the big dot of where we were. And uh, the smoke was so thick in the higher elevations that uh, the only star I could see or the only object that I could see at night was uh, Venus. It was the only thing bright enough to be seen uh, through the smoke. So, experiment complete. There is no doubt that a Bortle 2 sky provides a lot more uh, visibility, a, a lot better seeing than you would ever get with a Bortle 4 sky. I'm back home now, back to Bortle 4.